Hey everyone, Ross McCorkle here with another episode of The Depot 180. The Pittsburgh Steelers fell to the Houston Texans in dramatic fashion on the road with a final score of 30-6. to This is only Mike Tomlin's fifth loss to a rookie quarterback in his tenure as a head coach, his last being Dak Prescott. This makes the Steelers' record 2-2 two and two and has them falling to second place in the AFC North behind the Ravens, who beat up on the Cleveland Browns on Sunday. The only silver lining is that both the Browns and Bengals lost, and the Bengals are somehow looking even worse than the Steelers right now. Football can be weird, as nobody would have expected this from the Bengals, even with a hobbled Joe Burrow. The Steelers will have a chance to move back into first place on Sunday, with a game against the Baltimore Ravens, but might have to do so without Kenny Pickett. The score looked pretty bad in the Texans game without a doubt, but it was 16-6 at the end of the third quarter, and the Steelers were putting together a good drive before a dreadful fourth-and-one play call had Kenny Pickett out in shotgun in a five-step drop. He bailed to his left prematurely right into a sack that both ended the drive and injured Pickett. Just about as bad as it gets. It was all Houston from there, putting up two more scores, and Mitch Trubisky wasn't able to get anything going as the signal caller for the fourth quarter. Kenny Pickett's injury is believed to be minor with a bone bruise and some possible muscle strains. Up against the bye week following the Ravens game, it's likely the team will elect to let Pickett heal the extra week or two, but it's not impossible that he suits up against the Ravens. Bone bruises are all about pain management, and they hurt like hell, but it's not a structural issue per the reports from Schefter and Rappaport on Twitter. Pat Fryermuth and Dan Moore Jr. were also injured in this game. It's unknown the extent of Dan Moore's knee injury, but Fryermuth is estimated to be out two or three weeks with a hamstring. It's possible Fryermuth, Pickett, and Deontay Johnson could all return together after the bye week, but we will have to wait and see. Broderick Jones stepped in for Dan Moore Jr. and looked okay, not great by any means. He struggled, and his guy was technically the guy who injured Pickett on that play, though Pickett was more responsible for the sack, bailing out of the pocket too early. Mike Tomlin was asked about changes in the postgame presser, to which he replied, hell yeah, there will be changes, emphatically. In his Tuesday presser, he clarified more changes with preparation and pads in practice, not exactly the change many hoped for. Let me know how you enjoyed the video on Twitter at Ross underscore McCorkle, and as always, visit SteelersDepot.com for your latest and greatest Steelers breaking news and analysis. (laughs) 